In footage obtained by ABC News, one of you know whose former lawyers, Jenna Ellis, shared a conversation she had with a senior White House official about how you know who had planned to stay put after he lost in 2020. Mm -hmm. No, you, y'all knew this. <laughs> Don't act like you didn't know this was the plan, but here's the clip. I uh, emphasized him, I thought that the, um, the, the claims and the ability to challenge uh, the election results was essentially over. And he said um, to me in a kind of excited tone, well, we don't care and we're not gonna leave. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, the boss, meaning President Trump and everyone understood the boss, um, that's what we all called him. Um, he said, the boss uh, is not going to leave under any circumstances. We are just going to stay in power. And I said to him, well, it doesn't quite work that way, you realize. And he said, we don't care. So I, here's what I want to know. How is ignoring the results of a free and fair election that we have had in this country for over 200 years, how does that make America great again exactly? Yeah. Well, how does that work? It doesn't. And I, I think what's so despicable for me is that when you become a lawyer, especially a lawyer in Georgia, but all over the country, you take an oath, much like a medical oath. And that oath says that you will act honestly and, and uh, you will act truly, honestly, justly, and uprightly according to the law, and you will support the Constitution of the state mm -hmm. and of the United States of America, so help me God. That's what you say. And you have Jenna Ellis seemingly just saying, well, he was called the boss and he said he was going to stay, as if she had no part in it. Well, she had a part in it, too, and yeah. her part was that she pled guilty to aiding and abetting false statements and writings. There were four lawyers that pled guilty, mm -hmm. and I'm disgusted by that because they were, should have been his advisors, and they should have said right away, we, w we don't want any part of this because that is not how you make America great again. That's how you destroy a democracy. Right. They didn't say any of that. No, they don't say well, it. They didn't say that. Jenna Ellis was also continuing to lie about the election until this indictment came down and she decided to take a plea deal. And yep. listen, I'm glad it's happening because it means I think she's going to prove to be a very important witness against Trump. It's going to seem like Trump. a canary. But what is wild about this clip is the language models something nearly identical to what then White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows said to me mm -hmm. on December 3rd of 2020. I'd gone into his office to say that I was going to resign. I didn't agree with what we were saying about the election results and the election being stolen. And he said, wait, what if I could tell you that we're not leaving office? I shared that with federal investigators. I shared that with the January 6th committee. Um, this shows, this proves what she's saying, that the upper tier of the White House was actually trying to unlawfully and unconstitutionally hold on to power. I think Georgia has them in a, re has Donald Trump in a really tight spot. That's the hardest one, I think, for him to get out of. It is. But here's what I, I would say is this, is we don't even need to think about just what he did last time around. The agenda he's talking about for 2024 oh, is yeah. scary enough already. He's talking about rounding up millions of people, putting mm -hmm. them in camps. He's talking about carrying out revenge on four-star generals. Like, it's time Getting to wake rid of up. media. And I implore Tim Scott and Mike Pence, my friends, men I think highly of, you need to endorse somebody other than Donald Trump because the window is closing the stop. He also, I mean, I would also like to point out before we go to break, he threatened, uh, on a Veterans Day speech this past weekend, mm -hmm. Trump threatened to, quote, root out the radical left thugs that live like vermin within the confines of our country. That is, when you start talking about people as a vermin, mm -hmm. that means that you have dehumanized them. Yep. And the next step is extermination. That is extermination talk. Yeah. It's fascist and talk. It's Let's fascist. call it for what it is. I mean, I'm yeah. not going to invoke, but this is what the Biden's campaign said. On a weekend when most Americans were honoring our nation's heroes, Donald Trump parroted the autocratic language of Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini. Yes. Yeah. Okay? It is not... It, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, hyperbole. Yeah. No. To, to say that he is on the same track as all fascist dictators. Mm -hmm. He loves Viktor Orban in yes, Hungary. He, he loves uh, Kim Jong-un in North Korea. Yeah. He, he, he is a lover of dictators, and that's what he will and be. And doesn't he want to get rid of term And limits? why do people still vote for him? I, I question myself. Every day I ask myself the question, is it, it's about racism and taxes? Yes. And in the uh, Republican um, Congress, it's about retaining uh, power, power and that. being in their jobs, and that's all they are about. I think what you're and saying. And we must, we must do something about it now.
I hate to be like a Cassandra, you know, the sky is falling or whatever it is, a mixed metaphor there. Well, everyone was told in 2016 repeatedly not to take Donald Trump literally. And I think we've learned. <laughs> he says the quote. Everyone, everyone should really join out. and go ahead and yeah. say he's not only saying it literally, he's telling you exactly what he'll do. Mm -hmm. And the White House spokesman, Andrew Bates, said in a statement about your a reference to vermin. Uh -huh. Using terms like that about dissent would be unrecognizable to our founders, but horrifyingly recognizable to American veterans who put on their country's uniform in the 1940s. That's right. Yeah. My father, my uncles fought against fascism. Yeah. They were against the Nazis. Yeah. And now we have these people in this country who want that, and he's encouraging it. And deniers, people who say they, the war they never happened. Oh, and by the way, he also, Trump, I have a clip to show of him saying out loud, Watch this clip for a second. Like tens of millions of people within our nation, I'm proud and strong. Election, I'm a very proud election denier. Oh, he's a very proud election denier. That, that contradicts itself. Like, I don't even think he knows what he's saying. Well, just, we, well, we know what, we know he's, what he's saying. saying. And what so, listen, saying. if that's what you want, if that's the country you want, that's your man. That's right. If that's not the country you want, then get your behinds out and make sure he doesn't get back That's in. right.